Hey everyone, Zane here and welcome to a new comparison video and today we will compare Apple Pay versus Samsung Pay versus Google Pay. Mobile payment systems want to free us from cash and cards, but are they ready to replace your wallet? And which one is the best, Apple Pay, Samsung Pay or Google Pay? Google Pay use NFC or near field communication to make a payment where you tap your phone on a terminal. Most newer terminals come equipped with NFC but not all. Samsung Pay uses NFC and a technology called Magnetic Secure Transmission. So when you hold the phone to a terminal, it sends a signal that simulates the magnetic strip on a card. This means it works with older terminals. And all three services let you make a limited number of payments even when there is no signal. So either one of these three services will be a good choice if you lost your credit card, you can simply remember all the numbers of your physical credit card and add it to your wallet, then use it instead of using the physical card. But one downside is that not all stores have this technology, so you cannot actually pay anywhere using your mobile wallet. And even if you find this feature in some stores, it will not be updated. The sellers will be using old terminals. And that's why Samsung Pay is gonna be the most useful in this case, because most of the terminals in the stores are very old and only Samsung Pay can deal with it. So actually Samsung Pay work in 99% of the terminals. And let me tell you a good thing, all the three services not just working on your phones. For example, Apple Pay works on other Apple products like the iPad and watch. Google Pay will work with newer Android phones and watches. Samsung Pay is also on some gear watches they also walk online. Apple Pay has browser payments in Safari and in several apps. Just confirm with your fingerprint or face and you are done. And this is actually a good feature. Google Pay just ruled out browser payments as well in Chrome Safari and Firefox, but not many online stores use it yet. Google and Samsung Pay also work on sites that use Visa Checkout if you are shopping on your phone. So I do a lot of shopping online and as a result, I really love it when a site accepts a mobile payment system. So I don't have to enter my details again. And when talking about Apple Pay or Google Pay, they are seamless. You don't have to put anything. All you have to do, at least for Apple Pay, is to authenticate. The downside with Apple Pay is that it only works in Safari. While using the Google Pay, you don't have to authenticate as Apple Pay. So this might be a downside and be careful, this might make you buy things accidentally. Apple Pay Cash lets you send money to friends through iMessage and split the bill. Google's version is called Google Pay Send. And here's another downside for the Apple Pay. Apple Pay allows you only to send money to iOS users. On the other hand, Google Pay can make you send money to anyone, including Android phones, iOS phones, or even your computer. Now, when talking about the security, mobile payment systems use a method called tokenization to keep card details secure. Once you add your cards to the app, it generates a virtual account number and your real card number is never given to the merchant. So if your phone is stolen, all three let you wipe your device remotely, which will remove your virtual wallet right along with it. Now, let us ask a very important questions. Are these three services ready to replace your credit card or even the cash? In fact, not yet. But if you want to try one of these services, which one is the best for you? In my opinion, if you have an iOS phone and all of your friends have also iOS and you are one of the biggest fans of Apple, so you can simply use Apple Pay because it only works on Apple. But if you need something that is universal and can be used for all devices, something that you can use to send money to other friends who are not having the same operating system of the phone, and you want to make some payments using the browser, you can simply use Google Pay in this case. But if you are looking for the most compatible with most terminals in the stores that will work in many cases, you can now choose Samsung Pay because as I said in the beginning of the video, it works with very old terminals. And that is it. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, comment, share, and see you in a new video.